Welcome back to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and the 100th edition of the World Figure Skating Championships. Bob Varsha back with you along with Olympic silver medalist Peter Carruthers. We just watched American Todd Eldridge collect his first world championship in emotional fashion. It's been nearly a decade, Peter, since Brian Boitano and Debbie Thomas collected both men's and ladies' world championships for the U.S. in the same year. What are the chances of seeing history repeated tonight? Well, I think that could very well happen with Michelle Kwan in first place right now. She's looking strong. She's well-trained. She's got a great program. She's very musical when she skates, but... Chen Lu is in second. She's the defending world champion. And everything that I just said about Michelle Kwan, well, Chen Lu has that also. So there's really just a small difference between these skaters. It could come down to a jump. It really is hard to determine what is going to happen because they both are so good. It's going to be fascinating to watch them. We'll also see Russian teenage sensation Irina Slitskaya, the European champion, and former world champ Midori Ito of Japan. Here's a look at the standings after the short program. Note down in sixth and seventh places. Ito, who had a very disappointing short program, as did Surya Bonoli of France, who will try to score some points in the free skate, and she'll be first on the ice when we return to Edmonton in just a moment. Welcome back inside the Edmonton Coliseum. Bob Varsha and Peter Carruthers, glad to have you with us as we kick off our ladies' program. Perhaps the most decorated female skater of all time, never to win the world championship, Surya Bonali of France. Right here, stepping up into a double axle and immediately repeating it. Tough to do it, almost a standstill. Skating to Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. Triple Lutz, double toe loop, strong start so far. Five time European champion. Triple loop, double toe loop. Comes most important, three time world championships runner up. But I have to warn you, <laughs> we have an element sheet here. You've heard this before with Surya. She's been known to change her program, so anything could happen. Usually a skater practices the same jumps in the program day after day after day. In fact, right here, an attempt at the quadruple sow cow falling short of the rotation. This is what I mean. Things have changed around in this program, not what she usually does in practice. After the short program, Bonali finds herself in the same situation as Elvis Stoiko among the men, trying desperately to get onto the podium. Edges skating into that right there. You could see she was just going straight down the ice. It's very difficult to do these jumps without any edges.
Oh, that was strange. Complete loss of balance on a very basic move. That's a good footwork section. Ooh, very abrupt. Put her hand down will cost her. Those are deliberate. <laughs> Surya Bonali of France. And you have to wonder about her career now, Peter. She is not yet 23 years of age, but with all that she has accomplished, she has yet to win the big one. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching Ch Eight, five, seven, Back in Edmonton, five, Surya Bonali sees five, her scores. Six. From 5'6 five, to 5.8. Five, presentation presentation five, scores, five, eight, again, five, go from 5'5 five, five, to 5'8. Five, 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 and you just never know what's going to happen with Thank Surya you. in performance. She changes the elements, but the jumps, well, it can be controversial as to just how she's able to do them. And right there, the quadruple attempt falling short. I don't think a skater can come into a performance without having something completely rehearsed and in their head, having done it a number of times before the competition starts. She is just very impromptu when she skates. Right here, this is cheated on the second jump. A wobbly performance by Surya Bonali. It remains to be seen whether she will advance her cause at all. Now on the ice, the sensation of the recent European Championships from Russia. This is Irina Slutskaya. Skating to a medley of American show tunes. Triple Lutz. Oh! You know, I've seen her in other internationals this year, and she was just right on on that jump. But their big problems could be the nerves of being at a world championship. Getting it right back. There's some composure for you. At age 17. Another former world junior champion. Hardly former, she is in fact the reigning world junior champion. Imagine that. Triple flip. It's funny, I heard a story that she ran into Tara Lipinski from the United States in the elevator. 13 year old and said you are not supposed to be here and Tara Lipinski said oh yes I am so the competitive nature starts at an early age a little Leaning wobbly a there. little bit on the triple Lutz She's usually pretty straight on the jumps. I think she's thrown off a little with the nerves here. And she gets it back right there. Beautiful triple loop. Still very much the woman child. She lists her hobby as toys.
she kind of reminds me of Elaine Sayak. When Elaine skated back in the early 80s, that bubbly young personality. But at the same time, incredibly focused. The same routine that took her to the European Championship not too long ago. Remains to be seen how it will score for Irina Slutskaya of Russia. We'll be back after the break to see how she did. Stand by for more from Edmonton. You're Welcome back to Edmonton, the heart of the wild west of Canada, Alberta province. Bob Varsha along with Peter Carruthers, Irina Slutskaya of Russia views her scores. Well, they're all very strong from 5'7 to 5'8, technical merit. However, she did not skate the way we have seen her earlier this season, but still not a bad performance. The presentation scores go from 5'6 to 5'8. So overall, very solid marks for this young lady, 17 years old. And now here is the defending world champion from China, Chen Lu. Second after the short program. Skutskaya at age 19. Chen Lu is a veteran of these world championships. She has two bronze medals to go with her gold medal from a year ago. Very relaxed program. The pacing, perfect. This is a reigning world champion going after her title. I don't know if you feel this way, Peter, but we watched her skate to her championship in England last year, and she seems to be much faster this year. I just feel that she's very trained and extremely comfortable with the choreography for this program.
Lutz. Perfect. She's relaxed. As you said, very at ease with her skating. performance from the reigning world ladies champion Chen Lu of China. We'll take a quick break and come back for her scores when we return to the World Figure Skating Championships. Here. Back in Edmonton, Chen Lu of China awaits her scores. And she was just completely in the zone in this performance. Relaxed, the jumps really secondary to her beautiful skating. That's the magic of this sport, when you can just go out there and perform and the jumps just fall into place like this triple flip. Double toe loop. Excellence. Well, this is likely to put the heat on the Shell Kwan of the United States. Here are the scores for Chen Lu. Well, I am actually very happy to see that these marks are good. They are 5'8 to 5'9, all solid. But again, where she really came five through is in the eight. presentation. As a matter of fact, two six point zeros. One from the French five judge nine, and one six, from the Hungarian. Zero, six, as far as I'm concerned, five, they should have been all sixes. Magnificent. Well, that's not putting the heat on Michelle Kwan. That is sparking a volcano. <laughs> At age 15, kidding. Michelle Kwan is going Thank to have you. to come out and top that. Oh my, but before Michelle Kwan skates, a former world champion returns to the ice. This is Midori Ito of Japan. And she has not had an easy world championships thus far, Peter. Well, there's a lot of speculation as to just why she has had problems. She's had a stomach flu. Some say, others say the nerves have kicked in and it has really zapped her energy, causing the problems with her stomach. But the bottom line is, this is a young lady who has been pressured to come back into Olympic eligible skating after an absence. Tough to do. Triple axle that she's known for, falling over at the waist and not completing the rotation. story goes that several people tried to talk her out of that very difficult first jump but she said no it's expected of me so I'll try it. Only a double. She wanted the triple on that. single very unfortunate we just don't see the spark remember back to the 88 Olympics in Calgary when she just completely lit the saddle dome on fire I think people remember that the judges remember that they don't see that spark you raise a good point I'd forgotten that her Olympic triumph was here in Canada perhaps that weighs on her mind as well 
1989 world champion. She has not been to these championships since 1991 when she finished fourth. Now that's more typical of the Midori Ito we all know. She's still got good speed. Triple toe loop, double toe loop, but the jump's not falling into place in this performance. Skating to the ballet, Cinderella by Prokofiev. As the clock struck midnight for Midori Ito. This is such a tough sport. If you take a leave of absence from Olympic eligible skating and then try to return, it's like coming into a den of tigers. Really difficult. Welcome back to the World Figure Skating Championships. Five, three, Midori five, Ito five, awaits her five, scores. Three, five, Tough five, for her, the technical merit five, scores six, ranging from 5-3 five, five, up to 5-6. Five, five, Remember, four. this is the young lady that performed the triple axle in competition. Very far from that in this performance. And the presentation scores 5-3 to 5-6. And the jumps aren't there. The whole program is hard to judge. And which is very lackluster. No medals for Midori Ito, but here is a young woman who could make history tonight. Only two skaters have won the Ladies World Championship at the age of 15, and they are legends, Oksana Bayul and Sonia Henny. Michelle Kwan of the United States has a chance to match them. She has won four out of five of the international competitions that she has skated in this year. The track record couldn't be much better than that. So she has consistency. to Salome's Dance by Miklos Rosa. like we've been talking about Michelle Kwan for such a long time, but her career has been fairly meteoric. Eighth at these World Championships as a 13-year-old back in 1994. Fourth a year ago. 
and possibly the champion if she keeps up this kind of jumping with this wonderful choreography this could be a gold medal performance she had the opportunity backstage to watch chen lu's performance Triple loop, good air position, beautiful stretch on the landing, it's all falling into place. World Junior Champion just two years ago, preceding Irina Slutskaya. Second triple Lutz, perfect, a little tilted, but she is so trained in condition, not a problem for her. She has planned the double axle. Oh, that's interesting. She changed that for a triple toe loop. That could really help her in her quest for the gold medal. She has added a triple at the end of her program. That was smart. A little strategy there, as well as beauty. And for a moment, as though she surprised herself with that move. Giving the judges something to remember, certainly something to think about. Well, she had a triple toe loop, triple toe loop planned in the beginning of the program. That didn't happen. She only did the triple toe loop, double toe loop. So she just added some credit onto her performance. Well, it remains to be seen what the judges think of it in comparison to Chen Lu. Stay with us. Back in Edmonton, sitting with her coach, Frank Carroll, Michelle Kwan watches for her scores. And the scores have got to be good with jumps like this, the triple Lutz double toe loop. That's just the way you want to land the jumps. That's just the air position you should have to have a perfect jump. And here, the triple toe loop, double toe loop. She wanted a triple triple, but what's interesting is she did add the triple toe loop at the end of the program, and that could really help in the technical merit mark, which will come up right now. For technical parents in the audience. For Michelle Kwan. Like most of the top skaters, the product of a very five supportive nine, family. Nine, and all of these nine, marks, very nine, strong nine, for her. Five nines nine, nine, and five nine, eights. Eight, eight, very eight. close so far between her and Chen Lu. Remember, Chen had two 6.0s in the presentation. Five nine, five nine, six zero, five nine. And now six, you can see right here that she has. Two six point zeros. Also, Danny Kwan just completely excited for his daughter's success. Wonderful. That's all she needed. At the age of 15, Michelle Kwan has her world championship. But there is one skater left to come. You say that, it's so easy to get caught up at the moment, but there is one more skater, and that's Maria Buterskaya. I think you're probably right. 
Right now, she's in fourth place after the short program, so it's not likely that she will pull ahead of either Chen Lu or Michelle Kwan, but she can have some very exciting moments in her performance with the jumps. to Malaguena. Triple flip, double toe loop. Just 5'3", but she looks much taller on the ice. Triple Lutz, just pulling it off. And she really has quite a struggle with the nerves. They seem to get the best of her. This triple loop though, that is as good as a triple loop gets. That's a hard jump because you're taking off backwards and Really, it's all of the right side that gets you up into the air. Another triple loop right here. Oh, and having trouble on the second one. When you start to lean on a jump, it's hard to correct that on the landing. You can see how she really pitched forward right there. to skate after Lou Chen and Michelle Kwan. I thought that she was, was quite good, really, in the position that she had to skate in with all that has happened in this amazing women's competition. The triple flip, very nice, followed up by a double toe loop. But I think there's a certain amount of excitement that kind of went out of the building with Michelle Kwan's performance. And there you can see she just really was leaning forward and you have to stick the hand down 
just to stop here. you from falling. Not quite what she five, wanted five, on that. Five, five, six, five, 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 four, five, five, And they will five, go from 5.4 five, 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 up to 5.6. Five, six. Six. All the judges pretty much in line, but she never really seems too five, affected six, by anything five, that happens seven, to her in competition. Five, seven, she just sort of holds five, her head five, down and five, seems eight, indifferent about eight, the whole situation. Five, eight, but really for her, she turned in a good performance, as I mentioned, battling the nerves, her big nemesis. A fourth place finish for Maria Butriskaya. We'll be back with more from Edmonton and the Figure Skating World Championships in just a moment. Back in Edmonton, we have an interesting podium in the ladies' competition. Finishing in third place, a bronze medal to the new shining star from Russia, Irina Slutskaya. Silver to the former world champion from the Republic of China, Chen Lu. And finishing in first place, becoming only the third 15-year-old to claim the ladies' world championship from the United States, Michelle Kwan. Here's a look at the final results of the ladies' program behind Michelle Kwan, Chen Lu, and Irina Slutskaya. Surya Bonalia, France, finishes fifth, and former world champion Midori Ito of Japan in seventh spot. We'll leave you with a look at some of the highlights of both the ladies' and men's competition at these world championships. Peter Carruthers, your final thoughts. Well, my final thoughts in the ladies' championship are that you really did not have a winner. Chen Lu, Michelle Kwan, in my eyes, they were both tied. And for Rudy Galindo and certainly Todd Eldridge, what a moment for the United States in men's figure skating. Two men on the podium. And for the first time since 1986, American skaters sweep both the men's and ladies' time.